Ben McKee, West Rucker, Go Balls 24-7 here inside of Bridgestone Arena following Tennessee's ugly, ugly loss to Mississippi State in the SEC tournament. Uh, a loss, West, in which nothing went right for Tennessee today. No, it didn't. And, I mean, I, I, you can't sugarcoat it, and I don't think it's – it's an, it would be honest of anyone to even try. It was a bad, bad performance. Now, you could say that Mississippi State's the only team in this league Tennessee has not beaten this season, and now they've had two bites of that apple, and, and both times it didn't work. So, I mean, there's something in, in, in the plan for Mississippi State, the physicality. There, there's something that they do that, that Tennessee is not able to – to respond well to, and I don't, I don't know if this was a postseason pressure situation. I don't know that it was that. I, I just, they did not play well. They did not play well, and, and I think Rick, even Rick Barnes said it, Ben. It, it, he may not be like worried. He's a little concerned, and he should be. I mean that I, that Tennessee team, we've seen them get kicked around a little bit, but they've come back every time. They may not have won, but they came back every time. They just sat there and took that one. Yeah, that, that was embarrassing, quite frankly. There, there yeah. is no other way uh, to put it. Uh, I, I just frankly thought that they did not show up ready to play basketball. It, it's, it's one thing for the team that you're playing, if you have the double bye, to get off to a, a more crisp start than you. Mississippi State played yesterday. They got off to a better start right out of the gates as a result. But when it turns in, five to seven minutes is one thing. An entire first half of basketball is another thing. And Rick Barnes said after the game that he didn't recognize that team at all, not even in practice this yeah, season. There were alarming signs right from the very beginning. I mean, Jonas Adu's first two shots, he fell away when he didn't necessarily need to do that. He didn't try to drive through contact and make a play. Um, and I don't even know where to start, unfortunately, with, with, with James and Vescovy. They're just, they're just not making shots. They're, they're just not making shots. I mean, all season long, at least for most of it, Vescovy, hasn't you know teams have still gone out there and covered him because they know he's a threat out there state left him a few times just left him and he missed shots that were big big shots and you know connect has been superman before to fix those things he couldn't do it today ziegler i thought played a lot better in the second half but in the first half couldn't get anything going uh, awaka couldn't catch the basketball avoid turning it over you go down the list and maybe other than mayshack i mean there's they did not do what they're supposed to do and in the basic minimums of what they're expected to do and i tell you this better be a one-off because now ben they're in a situation in my opinion where they have this tournament coming up to either make us forget this or make no one ever believe in them ever again going into the postseason for any reason because if not now then when those are the stakes right now and and this team this this program this coaching staff they all better look in the mirror i think and recognize that yeah, there's a lot on the line uh, legacy-wise coming up, not only for the head coach that everybody talks about first, not saying that you're wrong for doing that if you do, but uh, not just his legacy that is on the line uh, coming up. The good news is that you do have the NCAA tournament yep. coming up, and if you make a run there like you should, nobody's going to care about this. Correct. Um, but unfortunately, within the moment, that was not representative of the SEC regular season championship team that we saw. and and. Like, it's one thing to have a poor performance here and there, but to completely no-show at the SEC tournament as the number one seed when it was a home game for you and a nice crowd of, of Tennessee fans, mm -hmm. that, that that's a little more alarming than just simply having an, an off game that happens in basketball. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it was a no-show. And it's not for me to say what's in, like, their hearts and souls and all that. Like, that. some people try to do that. I don't try to do that. That's I don't know how we can. We can't know. What we can know is what we see and what we don't see. And I just, there was times in that game where we saw fight. And, and that, that should be mentioned. They did not just completely lie over and they, take They it. tried to make runs in the second half. It's just they, they didn't play well. They'd make an offensive run, and, and then the defense would just let them down after I mean, that. I mean, to me, it would have been almost better if they had just quit because they, they came back to play a little bit at times, and it just didn't work. And that is that could be more demoralizing. And, again, credit Mississippi State. Tennessee had a couple of those little 6-0, 8-0, 9-0 spurts where you're like, okay, here comes something, here comes something. And then Hubbard makes a play, Matthews makes a play. I mean, those guys, you know, Smith just bullies inside for a two. They answered every challenge. Every time Tennessee was like, we're going to start a fire here, Mistake just put it out every time. And you have to give him credit for that. Jance, is a, he's a good basketball coach. But that's also the ninth seed in this tournament. And, and so you can't, you can't excuse this. Um, but the, the best case scenario for Tennessee is, you, you, you flush this, you're moving on, you have a good run in the next couple weeks, 
and then this didn't happen. But what this does is this complicates things. And for a group that won an SEC championship in a year where the league's as good as it's been in a long time, man, that would be that would be a kick in the coin pouch. It really would. Yeah, it would. And and it's it's going to be difficult, at least for me this week, to to walk the line of not overreacting too much because mm-hmm. understanding that the big one is coming up and the team could flip the switch, but also not completely dismissing what happened today. So we yeah. we at GoBalls247.com will do our best to walk that line of not freaking out one way or the other. We are in the land of Johnny Cash. We will we will try to walk the line. We, we, we are. Uh, so we will try to walk the line. Uh, we've got plenty of coverage coming up over the next couple of days. Selection Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern on Sunday night on the great station CBS. So make sure you tune mm-hmm. into that. And, of course, we'll have plenty of breakdowns following Tennessee's draw in the NCAA tournament up at GoBalls247.com. He's Wes Rucker. I'm Ben McKee.